Driving down busy I-90 through Coeur d'Alene, you might never know some of the best bird watching around is just an exit away. But what makes this so unique perhaps is the accessibility uh, close to town with the highway that people can drive right up to where the eagles are. And they do. Here at Higgins Point, the bald eagle is as close as your car. Brian Walker is one of those who came and checked out the eagles. Uh, they were hanging around in the, in the trees. If you were watching, you could see them fly over the water and uh, just a beautiful sight with the wings spread out. The sight so impressed this Post Falls resident, he returned two weeks later and brought his son, eight-year-old Casey. I saw a big eagle fly over the water. Like the birds, tourists flock to this spot on the lake for a look at the once endangered bald eagle. Our birds start arriving locally in the middle of November by ones and twos and small groups and each week more arrive. They're pretty much gone from here by February. Scott Robinson with the Bureau of Land Management has been coming here for the past 18 years to count the birds. We've had as few birds as 10 one winter and as many as 156 on another more recent winter. Scott's not sure how long the eagles have been landing here. His office started tracking the birds in 1974. Then it was simply for research. No one really paid much attention until 1991. That's when the BLM started inviting people out to watch the eagles. Word soon spread. So Scott started tracking not only the birds, but the sightseers. He did it by asking them to sign a guest book and include their zip code. 50 American states and we got 36 foreign countries who have signed in our little book. So that's pretty exciting. About 70% of the people come within a three hour driving distance. From the parking lot at Higgins Point, you can get a pretty good view of the majestic birds. Binoculars help, but even without them, it's spectacular. Well, I think it's awesome. This is about my ninth day down here. So I'm just trying to get some good shots, but just being with them out here, you know, it's pretty awesome. There's really nothing better. Doesn't matter if it's 30 degrees or five below zero. It's pretty phenomenal. See, and it's because of the eagles that I do what I do. I'm a professional free fall photographer. I take pictures and video of skydivers for the last 10 years. And I was inspired by these birds right here. How do you top that, huh? Freedom at its finest. With Scott as our guide, we hiked back around the lake to get a better look. When you get too, too close to them and you, you invade that, that personal space of them, they get agitated. And many times, uh, that's why we try to uh, encourage our eagle watchers to always give the birds plenty of space. We encourage them to use uh, you know, either the binoculars or the telephoto lens on their camera. The bald eagles are more of a scavenger than they are an active predator. We kept our distance, then waited. When we have uh, birds in few numbers, you just gotta have a little more patience to out here watching. A lot of times people will come out and say, you know, when's the best time and to see the birds? And when we're out here all day with the eagle watch, you know, it could be any time of the day. And on this day, the eagles didn't disappoint. So this would be a typical pose of a bird just perched up in the tree. Of course, it helped to have Scott by our side pointing out each eagle as it entered the grove of trees. Occasionally, you can hear a little squeak as they talk to one another. We watched as an eagle circled the lake, then swooped down and snatched a salmon. He has it. He's, he's, he has his fish. Only to return moments later to its perch high on the hill to dine on its latest catch. And then in the morning time at sunrise, they will come out to the water's edge and they'll start to fish. And then they'll go up to their favorite perch tree and they'll digest, eat and digest. And then later in the day, they'll come out and get another fish, go back to a tree, eat and digest. Eagles need to eat one to two pounds of fish a day. Kokanee salmon spawn here each winter, which makes this location ideal. And so when the kokanee die off, 
as part of their uh, spawning cycle, that became a 4-H uh, grocery store for the, the bald eagles. As the salmon supply dwindles, so do the birds, who continue their migration to southern Idaho and Utah. But they'll be back to transform this quiet, misty lake into an eagle sanctuary. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.